Evening guys, we're on Revelation chapter 16, reading from verse 16, on the final bowl that gets poured out on judgment on the earth. And we're reading and it says, And they gathered them together to the place which in Hebrew is called Harmageddon. So um, there's a, um, a place north of Jerusalem where the battle of Armageddon takes place and as we've read all the nations get deceived and they come against to fight the final battle against the Lord and that's where they meet in that valley which is mentioned a few times in scripture but verse 17 goes on to say then the seventh angel poured out his bowl upon the air and a loud voice came out of the temple from the throne <laughs> saying it is done and so um, this is the final bowl destruction on the earth um, it is done, it is finished, uh, God's wrath has been poured out, then we have the millennium reign of Christ and then there's a final great white throne judgment at the end where men will be judged for their sin and cast into hell or taken into heaven. Um, but at this stage um, God uh, has his final bowl that's going to be poured out and it says, and there were flashes of lightning and sounds and peals of thunder and there was a great earthquake such as there has not been since man came upon the earth so great an earthquake was it and so mighty and so we do see many great earthquakes even today um, but nothing has this worldwide impact as this earthquake in fact even um, in Revelation 11 where we just before the sixth trumpet the second woe it says in verse 13 and at the hour there was a great earthquake and a tenth of the city fell 7,000 people were killed in the earthquake and the rest were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. So here we have 7,000 people killed, but in this earthquake it flattens the whole world. There's no mountain, there's no island. Um, the only place that really kind of sa stays, according to Zechariah, is Jerusalem, which we'll read now. But as it goes on, it says, um, back to Revelation uh, 16, um, the great city was, was split into three parts and the cities of the nations fell and as Zechariah points out this fresh water now comes from Jerusalem before remember all the waters have been destroyed the sea has turned to blood the rivers have turned to blood the animals have died and so there's no there's no water but the fresh water comes from um, Jerusalem so this split happens um, it's split into three parts and the cities of the nations fell. Babylon the Great was remembered before God to give her the cup of the wine of his fierce wrath. And every island fled away and the mountains were not found. It's almost like a bringing the world back to how it was, a flattening of the world um, before the flood. Um, but it's, be, yeah, it's hard to picture how every mountain uh, will become flat. And it goes on to say, and huge hailstones, about 100 pounds each, it's 45 kgs, came down roughly from heaven. I mean, the biggest hailstones now don't even make one kg. Um, so 45 times the biggest that we can ever imagine now is coming down and, and just destroying uh, what's left on the earth. The huge hailstones, about 100 pounds, came down from heaven, and the men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail because its plague was extremely severe. And this is the sad thing, like we've mentioned in previous um, messages, that people don't repent, even though things are so, so bad. You would think that people would turn to God at this time and repent and believe on Him. But they don't repent. So I think on Monday, we, oh, sorry, on Friday, we'll just go through that Zechariah passage, which is almost like a parallel one. and gives us more insight to what's happening at this time and the last bowl of wrath that gets poured out. But I trust you have a wonderful day. God bless.